And then it occurred to me, if our women help these outside others raise the children of the men who didn't care enough to keep these children in our community and, you know, single national for what whatever it's worth, not only will we wind up doing, doing the bulk of the work to help these women raise these children if they want it done right, but Becky's babies will eventually claim our culture as their own and pass it right back to their mother's nation. Don't believe me? I should mention, I, I have a couple of degrees in history and I use them. So let me proceed. All right. Let's look at pretty much all of Latin America as an example. When I studied colonial history in college, I learned how it was years, sometimes decades, before the settler scum men brought their women over to their colonies, right? Meanwhile, they were establishing families with the indigenous Moorish women, resulting in all the nations we see in Latin America today. So, these indigenous women caring for their half-colonist children taught them the ways of the indigenous how do you think that they, these colonies were able to survive? These children took all of that knowledge right to their father's side. I'm not blaming them for it because they were children. I'm just saying that's what happened. Living in a patriarchal colonial society, these children, while practicing the culture of their mothers, simultaneously pushed the separatist, color-based apartheid ideology of their colonist fathers. Once the colonials started bringing their women over, it was a wrap. Those children with the mother, Moorish mothers and the colonial fathers, they immediately allied themselves with their lighter skinned cousins, going so far as to create the moniker of conquistador's child, which is still used in many parts of Latin America today. All of the con conquistadors were men from Europe. I'm guessing that's not who taught you how to make corn tortillas, okay? What we see today are these conquistadors' children's descendants claiming that the remaining pure, usually darker indigenous people, their mother's peoples, are trying to steal their culture, right? You are an original Moor from Central America and you're being accused of stealing the culture of somebody saying, I'm a conquistador's child, all right? And this is my point as far as what's the last stronghold of the Moors, what I'm trying to help prevent.